Hey, what's going on DDO players, Axel here. Today I'm doing a follow-up video to my last video where I talked about the most popular quests. In this video, we're gonna be talking about the most and least popular races being played. And this is again, based on data from playeraudit.com. One other thing before we get started, I've been trying to work on the audio in my videos uh, based on feedback. So I've made the audio about 30% louder and I've also put in a noise gate to hopefully get rid of like breathing sounds and stuff to hopefully clean the audio up in that way. So hopefully all that works. If it's too loud or too soft still, or if you're still getting bad background audio and stuff, just let me know and I'll try to tweak it, tweak it further. Okay. All right. So let's talk about the, um, the basically the races being played in DDO. So this is again from playeraudit.com based on from what it's saying on, on here, I believe it's past week. There was some confusion in my last video, which was actually past month. I said it was past week, uh, but this should be past week. Check below in the comments if not, uh, but as far as I know, it's last week. So let's talk about just the most and least popular races. And I will summarize it at the end. I put a lot of this data into a spreadsheet to kind of show a quick summary of it. But initial takeaways. So this graph here shows in the middle, it shows the percentage of races played on that server. So this green here represents human and it's not surprising that human is by far the most popular race on every server and it's not even remotely close. Human is twice as popular, at least twice as popular than the second most popular race on every single server. So human by far the most popular it shows a trend that you would expect, which is the free to play races are obviously going to be the more popular ones because they're free and new players are basically limited to those races and new players are a pretty significant portion of the population. Okay. So after human, and this is, this graph here is by server, by the way. So this is, this is just Kanith and we'll go to the rest of the servers uh, after we kind of go through Kanith here. Uh, I didn't want to start an Argonessen because as far as I know, Argonessen is the default server right now. And Argonessen and Wayfinder, as we'll see in a bit, are kind of outliers uh, for various reasons. And the rest of the servers are pretty consistent. So Kanith, there are some differences though. So Kanith, human, of course, most popular. Second, we have Drow Elf, which is a bit of a surprise. That's one other takeaway is just how popular Drow Elf is. It is more popular on a lot of servers than a lot a lot of the free races. So Draw, Draw Elf is it's technically a paid race, as we all know. It's a very quick race to unlock. I think it's 400 favor to unlock, so it is quite easy. But from what this data shows, apparently a lot of people, probably a lot of new players are unlocking Drow and then re-rolling a, a new character as Drow. Also, I think Drow, just based on lore and stuff, seems to be a popular race that a lot of players like just because it's it's a popular race in fantasy fiction, I know, uh, with like the Drizzt books and stuff, and it seems to be a popular race that people just like to play as. So Drow is second here on Kanith. Then we have Elf, Dwarf uh, here at uh, kind of third and fourth. Not surprising, two free races. Then we have Azamar. Azamar is the other takeaway. Azamar is very popular, even though it is a paid race. It's very popular on all the servers. Not as popular as the free races generally, but it is po more popular than, than some of the free races. So for example, here in Kanith, we have Halfling at 5.1% of the population. Azamar at 62 Not surprising. Azamar is just a very strong race. You've got, one of the reasons it's so popular is they have the Healing Hands Enhancement, which can give you self-healing in basically on classes that don't have it inherently. So uh, that's a really attractive thing. And Azamar is just a really good race that works for a lot of different classes. So not too surprising here. Uh, going down the list here, Warforged, uh, another paid race more popular than Halfling on Kanth server. Not too surprising. I mean, Warforged is a, a popular, particularly for like sorcerers. It's still always going to be popular. It's kind of the classic Warforged sorcerer. When I think of like a, the classic DDO race uh, race and class combination, Warforged sorcerer has got to be up there. It's just convenient to play a, even though you lose one DC, like on a sorcerer, for example, because Warforged starts with minus two charisma. It's, you still get all that great repair, repair self-healing, which is just really convenient. So then we have Halfling, and that's about, I mean, and a lot, most of the other races here, we won't go over every single one of them, but a lot of them are kind of in the middle. But we have Dragonborn, Gnome, uh, Tiefling, and Tiefling, not quite as popular in Kanth, but more popular in other uh, servers. Just I think Tiefling 
In particular, Tiefling, Tiefling Fire Sorcerer is very meta at the moment. I think from what I'm seeing from players that the the basically the probably the the two most powerful and don't quote me on this, but the the the, the two builds types that I see most commonly um, that players most commonly have the opinion of of being the most powerful seems to be like Tiefling Fire Sorc and Alchemist right now. So I'm not surprised to see Tiefling. I mean, Tiefling just really goes well with Fire Sor Sorcerer right now in the meta. Uh, Purple Dragon Knight, half Orc, half Elf. Blade Forged, all these kind of, for the most part, fall in the middle. And then we get to the least popular. So let's just skip over to the least popular. And I'll show you how this varies on different servers in a minute. But uh, Razor Claw Shifter is the least popular race in the game right now. So that's the Shifter Iconic. I don't think it's super fair right now to say that the player base has completely rejected Shifter because... Shifter is still very new and a lot of people don't own it. And if a lot of people don't own it, it's not going to be popular because a lot of people aren't going to be playing it. So we see Razorclaw Shifter along with regular Shifter here at the bottom on Kanith. Uh, then we have the, followed by Wood Elf, which, which tends to be at the bottom as well. Tiefling Scoundrel, uh, Asmar Scourge as well. Despite the Asmar, regular Asmar race being popular, the Asmar Scourge is not. Uh, same goes with the, the Tiefling Iconic, Tiefling Scoundrel. So... Uh, a lot of these, uh, a lot of the iconics here at the bottom, which isn't surprising, just because iconics are going to be less popular than than your standard races because they have a forced first level, and that just limits them a lot. It either limits them the players who are willing to uh, pay to buy a, a, a LR heart, basically to remove that level, or it, it restricts it to players who want to actually play the class with the force for, uh, forced first level, or at least take a. Uh, be willing to take it okay so let's now talk about the other two statistics on here on this page which is gender and guild affiliation so um, gender this is pretty consistent over most of most of the servers whereas you know male characters that make up about 56 percent of canis population female about 43 44 and that's fairly consistent as we'll see when we go through the rest of the servers it's about a fit but it's around 55 45 for most uh, for most servers. Uh, this is of course referring to character gender and not the gender of the uh, players, of course. Uh, let's move to guild affiliation. So guild affiliation, so most people are in a guild. As you can see here, 72% have a, are in a guild on Kanith. We'll see how this varies with the, the default server and Wayfinder, but uh, with, with DDO, you pretty much have to, like it's really disadvantageous to you to not be in a guild just for convenience and for buffs so if you're not in a guild you don't get any guild buffs and it's so much harder to get around assuming if you have teleport it's fine but say if you're a new player and you uh you, you know you, you need to get around the world it's a pain in the butt like if you're not in a guild, and I have in the past not been in a guild, because if you're not in a guild, you can't use the guild airship transporter stuff. So you have to rely on the trans, kind of the the transporters that are in the various uh, uh, instances of pub, the various public areas, or you just have to just run everywhere. And that's uh, that can be a pain, particularly when you're on low levels, or if you're playing a character that that doesn't have teleport and you don't, you know, you can't UMD it or something. So just it's it's something to keep in mind. Okay, let's move now to the other servers. So Galanda, uh, fairly consistent gender, guild affiliation, about the same. Human, again, uh, is up here. Drow Elf, again. Drow Elf seems to always be in the second or third. Uh, Asimar, a little more popular on this server. Asimar actually, Asimar on this server is actually more popular on Galanda than every free-to-play race except for um, Human, of course. So then we have Dwarf, Warf Warforge is up here as well, Elf, Halfling, Gnome, Tiefling, and then at the bottom we have this, the ones we we would see here, Raise Claw, Shifter, Wood Elf is also not very popular, just the Iconics generally, so Shifter as well, uh, which is an Iconic of course, but uh, is very new. Uh, Tiefling Scoundrel, Asmore Scourge, a lot of these it's it's not... It's not really important, too important. What is the least popular and what's the second least popular? Because these are all really close. So Razor Claw Shifter, 0. 0.7. This is 1.3 percent. It's not that big of a difference. If they're just all not that popular, it's it's not that big a deal. Who's second most popular or second least popular and third least popular? Okay, let's move to Kyber. The Kyber. What else? Um, Guild affiliation, gender. They're about the same. 
human. We have Draw Elf at second again, Azamar. So this is very similar to the last server we looked at. Dwarf, Warforged, Elf, Halfling, Tiefling, Dragon Warden. You're starting to get the picture. The rest of the race is like half work. EDK, this stuff kind of falls in the middle. And we again have Razor Claw Shifter, uh, Wood Elf, uh, Shifter. Same, same, it's very similar to the last server. It'll really get interesting when we get to the, the default and the uh, and Wayfinder here. Okay, so Orion, pretty similar. Human, Drow Elf, first and second. Uh, elf is a little more popular on this server, so Orion seems to have more Elf players. Azamar up here again. Dwarf about in the same spot as it's been on all servers. Halfling, Dragonborn, uh, Warforged. So Warforged a little bit lower. Uh, Dragonborn, I believe, is a little bit higher. Tiefling, a little bit lower maybe. So let's see. So Razorclaw Shifter is the least popular. Shifter is way up there. Wood Elf, Tiefling Scoundrel, Asmar Scourge, Shotterkai, a little less popular on this server. So you all see the trends and how this is going. Sarlona, about the same with guild affiliation, maybe a little bit more uh, gender, you know, 1% more, I think one, around 1% more female on this server. Um, so we've got human again, Drow Elf again at second. Warforge is very popular on Sarlona, actually. Uh, more popular on this than the, the prior server. So Warforge is actually third on Sarlona. Uh, Asimar fourth, Elf fifth, Dwarf sixth, Tiefling seventh, Halfling eighth. So Gnome here, and then we've got a lot of these in the middle here. And again, we've got Razorclaw Shifter last, Wood Elf, Shifter, Asimar Scourge, Tiefling Scoundrel, Sun Elf, a lot of these Iconics as you would expect. Atlantis, this is the last of the uh, kind of non-Wayfinder, uh, non-default servers that have different stats. So Thalanus, Human, Drow Elf second, Asimar third, Dwarf fourth, Elf fifth, Warforged sixth, Halfling seventh, Dragonborn eighth, Tiefling ninth, and then we've got the least popular ones here. Razorclaw Shifter again, least popular, followed by Shifter, Wood Elf, Asimar Scourge, uh, Tiefling Scoundrel, Shotter Kai. Guild affiliation, gender about the same, 55, well, 56, 43, and 75, 24. Okay, so let's move to Arganessen next, which is the default. So we'll see how this changes a little bit. So because this is a, the default server, as far as I'm aware, I couldn't actually confirm that anywhere, even though I looked like I looked, uh, you know, around the forums, I couldn't get a direct confirmation, but I'm, I'm like 95% sure that Arganessen is the default. You all correct me if I'm wrong there, but I'm pretty sure I'm correct. Okay. Um, guild affiliation is actually a lot lower because it's the default server. So you have a lot more new players, which is to be expected. So on Planus, if you remember, this was at 75 here in Argo, it is down to 59%, just because you have a lot more new players. Uh, gender, about the same, a little bit more male, I guess, on Arganessen. Okay, uh, let's go to race. So human, elf, the so humans first, elf is second, drow elf third, or fourth, Asmar all the way down at fifth. So to be expected, with the default server, you're going to see the Three races be more popular because there's more new players, so that's why you have Elf at second. Uh, Drow Elf still low popular, technically not a free race, kind of a free race because you can unlock it 400 players, uh, 400 favor, but it's still very popular here on the default server. So we've got um, Dwarf fourth, Asmar fifth, Halfling sixth, uh, Warford seventh, Tiefling eighth, Dragonborn ninth, and kind of this. What you would expect last here, we've got Razorclaw Shifter last, Tiefling Scoundrel, Shifter, Wood Elf, Asmar Scourge, Sun Elf. So those are that's kind of the way Arganess and the default server is laid out. So let's go to Wayfinder now. Wayfinder actually has less slightly less guild affiliation than Argo, which is the default server. So Wayfinder it, it, it's pretty clear from the stats that the people on Wayfinder uh don't want to you get a Wayfinder to play with a static group or play by yourself. You get a Wayfinder if you want to uh, be away from other people, not if you want to like join and, and play with other people. And I know that that seems to be a popular attitude because Wayfinder with its, has a much smaller population than the, the rest of the servers. A lot of people seem to go there because they want to get away from lag. Uh, I guess population helps that. I'm not sure if it does, but people seem to believe that it, it helps lag and uh, just to, I guess, have a more empty world. So... That explains the guild affiliation being low. Uh, gender is about the same. 
let's see how the races stack up. So we've got human, we've actually got regular elf at second, uh, dwarf at third, drow elf all the way down at fourth, so a little bit less popular on this server. It's, it seems to be, drow seems to be around second on most servers. Then we've got halfling, then warforged, then azamar all the way down here. So azamar less popular on wayfinder. Azamar was up here in like second and third on some servers, and it's all the way down here for wayfinder. I think what we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all the way down at seventh on Wayfinder. Then we've got Tiefling, Gnome, Dragonborn, and then with the least popular, you've got Razorclaw Shifter again at the bottom. Asmar Scourge, Shifter, Tiefling Scoundrel, Wood Elf, Blade Forge. So that's, that's where Wayfinder stands. Okay, here's just a summary Excel spreadsheet that I'll lay out here for you just so you can see just a straight shot of all of the different popularities of these races by server. Uh, unfortunately, the player audit site doesn't give a higher breakdown overall. It just does it by server. So here's at least a visual representation. As you can see, Razorclaw Shifter across the board, least popular. Human across the board, most popular. And you can kind of see here how some of the other races um, vary. So if you want to get an overall picture, you can just pause the video here and check it out for yourself. Okay, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Let me know what you think about all the stats here. Would be interested in reading that if you'd like to support this channel. I have a Patreon available in the description if you're interested. That's all for today. Enjoy. Have a good one. Take care.